So we will build this uh, garden earlier this year. The original plan is what we will water with a water hose. The area is not that big. So we think it's okay. It doesn't, we didn't take it that long to water the, the garden. But uh, what we quickly learn is, especially we are growing vertically with the trellises. Once they get big, it's really hard to uh, water them uh, properly, uh, especially reaching the, to the to the bottom of the cucumbers, the beans, and so on and so forth. So um, I have to scramble to put up a, a irrigation system. So it's a drip irrigation. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, how I did it and lesson I learned during the process. So here, pretty simple. Basically, I have a, a timer uh, connected to a half inch pipe. So the timer you to uh, regulate the, the time, uh, the duration of the irrigation. So here the half inch pipe come in, um, got to the uh, got to the raised bed. So it's go up with from with a T. So it's a simple T. So then um, attached to a, a shorter piece of the half inch pipe, going up along the raised bed. And then there's a valve there. The reason I put a valve there is because so I can if one bed not being used, I can turn off the water. Also, I can use it to um, regulate the water, the amount of water, and the speed of water um, going to the wrist bed. So on the top, I have an elbow, then connect to a, another another pipe, just to run along the side of the wrist bed. Then um, uh, drip lines are uh, just um, connect to the to the half inch pipe along the way. So I, feel, I realize this works. This this works really well. Um, so lesson learned here is, um, um, I think the wow is a great idea, but the I don't like the brand uh, of this wow. It's really hard to install. If you don't use clamps, um, they would uh, just leak all over the place. Even if you put clamps in, uh, you have to really try to find the right spot. I really taught them really hard for them to keep the water from leaking. So if I had to, to do it again, I might choose a different brand of the valve. And uh, this was a uh, was quite a struggle. To to keep the um the pipe in place along the the raised bed, I uh, use these clamps. These are half inch clamps. It works really well. It's really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So along. The width of the garden, I use more of them to um, keep the the pipe in place. The only change I made, I was straining out one side of the clamp, so that it can be connected to the top and the side of the bed. So it's really sturdy. This is really good. Although it was a pretty simple setup, but because I was doing this from a scratch, there was still uh, quite a few trial errors. Original plan was the the pipe will end at the top of the wrist bed where the where the cross is showing, and then it will be uh, sealed similar to this, so the water wouldn't leak out. Then all three of the drip lines will connect to close to the same point near the top of the vertical pipe, but that would turn out to be very messy. So that's the horizontal pipe added to solve that problem. Well, as any good engineer would do, in my original plan, I was using duct tape to hold the um, pipe to the wrist bed. So um, of course that didn't work out and the, the, the pipe, um, the duct tape really peeled off. So luckily we found a, a permanent, more permanent solution with a clamp attaching the pipe to the, to the wrist bed. So I just repeat this uh, eight times for my, my A wrist bed. And uh, do so, so for every bed, basically you just have a, have a T goes up, um, goes up along the, along the bed, have a regular water regulator valve and uh, elbow and the drip lines uh, attached to the, to the pipe running along the side of the bed. And as you can see here, 
so the valve was not fully open so i can control the the water speed so we are feel the the areas bad i was too lazy to to really flatten out the entire plot so some beds are lower than other ones we put the drip lines in the drip lines in some beds are faster than others so this valve is really helpful in terms of regulating the speed uh, make sure you don't uh, overall under you get the, the vegetables. Okay, that's what we have. So we have all them uh, running along this side of the beds. And they're working working great. They're working great. I put in this about uh, a month ago. They have been working great. They save a lot of time, a lot of effort. So I highly recommend you to to put in on. So I highly recommend you to put in one. So I highly recommend you to put one in for your respect garden. You save a lot of time and you can really irrigate, especially under the crop, if you have crops that are growing uh, vertically. Thank you. Below are the components I used on this project.